So we got a call for a Jeep Renegade. Some sort of... I'll verify that for you. So it is. It's a gray Jeep Renegade. It's about two miles up the Tokerville Falls Road. They said they have destroyed one of their tires and they don't have a spare. So we're pulling the trailer up there behind Blue Steel. We're going to have to carefully pick our way up there and see if we can't get them out of there and get them to a shop. Got Jamie with us today. Hello. Ooh, am I going to be on YouTube? You want to be? <laughs> Can I like... Share it? <laughs> Absolutely. I will share it on my page. Well, sure like, this, was, this was what happened. You can tell us the story in one second here. He might not put you on, but. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want me to tell us your story, go for it. He might not use it, but we'll have it. <laughs> There's no real story. We're just coming down from the falls. Yeah. And Come I down. think one of the rocks just like. Tore the sidewall. Yeah. So it's uh, the little sensor came on, yeah. and immediately Luckily. after the sensor came on, we could hear the rim hitting. It was yeah. that big of a hole that it just tore up. So everybody always asked, why, what were they doing up there? So what were you guys doing up here? Just hanging out at the we're, waterfall. We were messing around at the falls, jumping off the falls. Jumping off the falls. Yeah, I don't think they understand that we live right by Zion National Park, and this we have place, five million people. Well, this place, too, is pretty hidden. I never knew about it. I, my friend of mine came up here and that's how I found it. He posted a photo and tagged it. And mm -hmm. so I looked it up on the map and... Hey, Rubber. Watch your right front. How about Okay, you're good. I've got a problem, Oh, careful going forward. Yeah, you're very close. How close? Not that far. You're good. Oh, touching.
that's where it needs to be. Um, Yeah, I guess they're just fast. Possibly. So we're going to get some questions. Why didn't we just take the Jeep? And the answer is this trailer empty will crush the Jeep. We put a lot of uh, a lot of effort into making that Jeep do what it what it does really really well. And pulling a trailer is something that it doesn't do very well. Even the light off-road trailer by the time you get a razor on there we're at the maximum of what the Jeep uh, springs will hold. So that's why we took this truck up. So, Today, we're doing some more yard work, landscaping, and kind of taking care of these neglected trees. So anyway, this tree was right here at the corner of the house. It was too close to the house, because the tree was there before the house was. And I was planning on just eliminating the tree, but we ended up transplanting it. It looks like it's doing good, but last summer, it not got uh, neglected really bad and just about yep. drowned out. So there's a bunch of dead in there. So I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get all the dead out of it and see if we can get it pruned up to where it'll turn back into a pretty tree. Uh, I used to be able to do this when I was a kid. Three year old and fat. Yeah. <laughs> all right, <I'm> ready. <laughs> I'm just as old and just as fat. <laughs> Hey, pretty good. Oh, that was from the other branch. That Look was out. deceptive from down here. 
Can you hold still there? Yeah. My hands are off. <laughs> okay, I need that saw. Can we go up? No. That's good. So we got Ryan back here today. We got oh, his... hello. Stetson here helping. We got uh, Janica Rayleigh. and Rayleigh. We got Janica and Rayleigh here. So they're helping their dad today. Who do you want to shout out to? Yeah. Hi, Bryce. <laughs> Hi, Bryce and Mom. Miss you. So I'm going to introduce you to my parents. This is my mom. This is my favorite son. Yep, I'm her only son. This is my pappy here. He's tending to his little baby chickens there. So this fire pit, I'm getting a lot of questions about it. It's a crusher cone from a rock crusher from like a gravel pit. So this is the inside cone. And uh, that's where it came from. So if you want one, you got to talk to somebody that owns a gravel pit with a crusher and see what they do with their old crusher cones. But the kids used it for the first time yesterday. They roasted some uh, hot dogs and then they made some s'mores. And uh, yeah, it worked out good.